What's good? It's El Tigre. I'm here with Bodine, Sal Calhoun. We're at the uh, All the Money ATM music video shoot. Yeah, yeah. It's cold as a motherfucker. <laughs> it's cold out here in these St. Louis streets, baby. That's why we gotta warm it up. Nigga. One time for my city, you gotta compare it to Grace Jones, this bitch ain't pretty. Yeah. Two times if you miss me, they thought I was gone. They were not in sing me. Three times for them titties. I like them big, not part of the itty bitty committee now. Four times did you feel me? This beat is Mickey D's during lunch. I'm about to the ATM video was like such a pleasure to work on. Originally, I linked up with Bo through Team Backpack. We got to talking, he gave me his album From America. And uh, I told him we should link up on some video shit later on. So like a year later, he hit me up like, hey, I got some music coming out and I want to do some videos for him. And he sent me over this track. Within the first 30 seconds of listening to ATM, I was like, dog, we're doing a video to this. I already have an idea, a concept, everything just popped into my head immediately. So originally, I wanted to do some long takes. And I wanted to make Bo and make Sal perform for the camera. I've been inspired lately by a lot of these really guerrilla style videography where you just take one camera and you just get everything done in one shot. But what's important about the one shot is what happens on camera. So it needs to be interesting. And I wanted to explore that because I hadn't really done anything with long takes. So my original idea was we see Bo in the car with some people. They hand him a bag and he gets out of the car and he walks down Cherokee Street while performing to the camera in the world that we provided. The camera just happens to be there capturing it. So we had Bo interacting with um, a guitar player busking on the street and stopping for a photograph from a photographer and buying some, some shirts from a guy on the street. Sal's hook comes in, so I wanted to immediately switch to Sal in the cut like with, with some homies um, chilling and one long take to him leaving the house and then another long take of him going from the house to the car and then in the car he picks up some people, they give him a bag, they get out, then he gets out on, on another spot and then him and Bo meet up but this time they got nice clothes on like, like uh, business clothes and then they walk up to an ATM. So on these shoots, when the when the video like when the when it's a tight schedule like it is today, where it's like back to back to back to back, food is gonna be fast probably, unfortunately. But as long as you got some good stuff with you, you know you can put some of that those nutrients in your body, then it won't be as intense. And you gotta be eating the Five Guys. So if you're on a set, make sure you bring the good stuff. It's important to take care of your bodies, everybody. Children, take care of your bodies. Adults take care of your, your bodies as well. Like, one of this whole song and video, really to have a lot of, like, purpose. We're going somewhere. Yeah, We're yeah. moving somewhere. Cause yeah. I feel like the energy I like has the, a I lot like of the, I like that, yeah, yeah. So that's why it's like, Versus out of a car, still, yeah. on the move, into a car. Yeah. Out of, you know, it's like, yeah. it's not plausible why anybody would ever get out of a car on Cherokee, or on Jefferson and get back in a car on Cherokee, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. aesthetically it works for the video. As soon as I got home, I threw everything in the computer and just chopped up a rough draft. So I, I figured Bo and Sal, they'd all be with their people doing Super Bowl activities, and I'd be with my people doing Super Bowl activities. So I wanted to have something to watch from that day because we all felt so geeked about this video. I mean, the concept was something that we hadn't seen from anybody around here. So after I edited the video and had it basically down to what I wanted, as I was watching it, I, I got bored. I got bored with it, like, just a few seconds into it. And I had a version of it that was done with no effects, just a color grade and the simple editing. And I still felt like it was lacking something, but I couldn't quite tell what it was. And so I started playing around with the color changing. Um, Bo was wearing this teal jacket that nothing else in the shot, well, mostly nothing else in the shot, was even close to that color. So it was easy to just grab that color and a uh, color change on it. And this is my first time working with color change for real. But that wasn't enough either. I couldn't just have that and then Sal's verse be what it was. So I started playing with the color on Sal's verses. And once I did that, it still didn't feel like enough. I was like, man, there's just like, it's just missing this certain extra element that takes it next level. And that's really what we were going for. So one day I was watching it and it just came to me. Every time they dap or every time they hit a handshake or do something, interacting with another person that's like a homie type of vibe just put a plus one like in a video game like when you run around and 
uh, you know, you hit something and it's like, boom, you get a little point, this and that. And I just wanted to uh, mimic that. So it was like, when he give, when first when he gives a dude a dap, he gets a point. Or uh, whenever he uh, finishes like a, a dope line, then it's like, boom, boom, perfect combo. Just kind of wanted to mimic that sort of old video games, like the retro video games, like Street Fighter, the way those effects were. But also I wanted it to feel like it was kind of one of those adventure games, sort of like Crash Bandicoot, where sometimes the camera will switch and now you're running towards the camera for one long take. Cool. ATM, all the money, low Dean, South Calhoun, shout to my dude, Calvin Tiger. We in the building, man, we getting it in. It's cold as hell outside, it's freezing. I just got over the flu, but fuck it, we doing it for the culture, man, for the people. Also, for appreciation to be out this summer. What the fuck y'all love? We kicking ass all year, all 2018, bro. Yeah. Sock at home. You know what I'm saying? We out here on Jefferson, Cherokee. Cold as a motherfucker. About to knock this ATM video out. Uh, uh, go ahead, check that Blackout album out. We dropped that, you know what I'm saying, around Christmas time. The EP, uh, uh, Let the Music Speak Part 2. Get that. That's on SoundCloud right now. Um, yeah, man. Stay tuned. We out here. And we let the music speak. You hear me? <laughs> so first and foremost, shout out Bodine. Shout out Sal Calhoun. They're my dogs now. Um, I'm working on another video with Bo, so we're back at it. I also want to shout out the people that helped out in this video. Shout out Kyle Ray, guitar player in the scene. Shout out Chris Boyd, Boyd Media, also doing this little documentary, photographer in the scene. Shout out Jay Wash. Find him at whoisjaywash.com. He was a uh, dude selling merch. Also, shout out all the lovely people I met back at Sal's Crib and Alex McFadden for taking the behind the scenes photos. It's really crucial in this day and age to have behind the scenes content. And these people that have been helping me with the behind the scenes content are basically doing it out of love and uh, support. And so. That collaboration, I think, is the probably the biggest key to everything popping off like it has. Kyle Ray, everything. Kyle Ray STL on Instagram. Kyle Ray on Facebook. Thank you, guys. What's up? Jay Wash of Jay Wash Music Group. Hey, go cop that new Alexis French love song. Check it out. Hey, LT Gray, St. Louis Cole. <laughs> Let's get it in.